what is going on today guys I got a little treat for you today this is a Christmas gift from my brother one of my brothers this is a Ned Foss knife so I don't own any of these uh, I've never had one before and I have taken a quick peek at it just to uh, just to kind of see what we were looking at and here we go just the packaging uh, let's see let's break into this box let's get into it and the the packaging on this is excellent I mean here we go we'll look at the box real fast yeah see no, no other branding or anything there we go feels like you know a textured type cardboard inside the box let's see we got a Ned Foss microfiber and here is your booklet probably I'm not really looking maintenance normal maintenance here you go pause if you want to read this and get this out of the way it's a bag in a box oh with a bag in a bag sweet all right so here is your holster and it says uh, it says on the website this is handmade uh, I think it said real leather but actually this is pretty nice it's your your classical like your classic type uh, holster little turquoise on there oh these bags are so crunchy okay let me get that out of there before I blow out anybody's eardrums set this down for a second here we go inside the holster holster is nice the holster looks good I like the holster move that over here and here is your Ned Foss so this one is the it's a Damascus blade I'm sure you can probably tell soupy um, this is your Damascus blade with classic style bolsters sandalwood um, 67 layer VG 10 Damascus yeah it was VG 10 so this is a VG 10 Damascus blade flipper style and it has the um, you have your thumb hole so you can do you know spidey flick you can do all that stuff I am not great at spidey flicking there we go I didn't get a good uh, <laughs> I didn't get a good flick don't judge me on the last one this is nice and the blade the blade is pretty they did a good job on the blade I said I've never I've never owned a Ned Foss so I wasn't a hundred percent sure what to expect yeah it looks good nice so it's a little it's a little rough inside the thumb hole um, you can kind of feel it you can feel it's a little but you know, let me see I don't know if the camera will pick up yeah there we go I might just hit it with uh, hit it with like a file just to smooth it out it's a little a little grippy there we go I don't know I'm gonna try to get the inside for the liners um, the it does say it has skeletonized liners let's see I don't know maybe yeah there you go you can see so skeletonized liners it is a liner lock it comes in like right halfway just like you would want and then she's centered enough pretty centered might have to play with the detent just a little um, see here nice nice tight lockup not gonna go anywhere I mean it it's it is good construction it feels good it's nice and heavy doesn't does not have a pocket clip which is okay comes with a holster or you know this would be for me this is gonna be like just like a date night knife probably but I uh, mean I was sitting there whenever I pulled it out just to take a look at it I was just playing with it and it's fidgety man oh it feels it's nice to fidget uh, it doesn't no drop shut you know it does if you give it a little bit of play but not not like it's not drop shuddy shuddy um, I think I can't remember if I said it is running on brass ball bearings which is cool there we go do that again and you can get these from his website Ned Fo or the, I, I say his I assume but you can get it from the Ned Foss website and you can also I believe they are on Amazon there we go oh let's see if we can get the top of the blade she's thick but 
I mean, the blade is nice, and it's it's pretty sharp. Um, it it does feel good. Ah, uh, yeah, see, it's tight. Ah, got it that time. It, it's it's time. I might have to see if I can loosen that up. We'll see. We'll see if I can loosen that detent just a little bit. I'm not the greatest spidey flicker in the world, though. There we go. Yeah, I see. See, you can see it a little bit better here. It needs, I need to hit it with like a file or something. That's okay. No biggie. And VG10. VG10 is not bad steel either. For, for those of you that want to see the soup, there you go. And... The bolsters look good. I, I can I can tell just by holding it, I probably need to oil it. That might make all the difference in the world, opening it or, you know, spidey flicking or anything like that. So um, I'll take care of that too. We might touch base on this guy again once I've kind of broken it in and done some cleaning and some normal maintenance. Just, okay. So to give you an idea, let me get this guy out of the way. Let's break out. All right, so rat model one, give you an idea there on blade size or you know just knife size in general, and then we'll do Civivi Knox. So this is if you've seen any of my other videos, Civivi Knox very comparable to Elementum. I think it's a hair smaller than the Elementum. So th as you can see, this is this is a good size. Like it's not. I don't know how hard it is to tell in in the uh, in the video, but it, it is it is a good it's a good profile. It's a nice carry profile. Um, it makes it a little bit harder to carry since it doesn't have a pocket clip, but that's I mean that's that's okay. That's okay. Not everything has to have a pocket clip to make it in a pocket. Uh, where is my ah? Here we go. We all know and love this one. And by we all, I mean me specifically. Uh, the Freeze 2, to give you an idea on the size comparison there. For any of you who are Olight fanboys like myself and you carry their knives. So that will give you the size on him. Put it up next to a flashlight just so you can see. It's not too much bigger than a flashlight. So carry profile is good. And I'm not kidding when I say fidgety. It I mean, it's, it feels nice. Holster is good. Oh, let's see here. There we go. I think the only thing I'm gonna do is probably change out this, this lanyard. So the holster fits over it good. My only concern with this is gonna be here. This is a fail point. That could fail. So, but I, you know, may or may not, I like the holster, but I've never really carried a knife in a holster. So we'll, we'll, we'll have to see on that. Haven't, haven't made up my mind there, but like I said, keeping this short, this is your Ned Foss 67 layer Damascus VG10 steel blade. And this thing's awesome. I, I, I say I say that whole thing as a title because uh, I looked it up on their website just so I could get a couple facts on it. And it doesn't really have like a model name that I'm aware of. Just that it's the six and a half inch handmade, you know, Damascus steel. So that's, that's what we're going to call it. <laughs> but very nice. And... Uh, Tristan, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. I love this knife. Uh, like I said this is going to be a nice little date night knife. And uh, if everybody else, I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas and that everybody's going to be ready for 2023 and have a happy New Year's. And, uh, you know, that's going to wrap this one up. If you enjoyed this video, please like and consider subscribing to the channel as I do my best to post daily. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you on the next one.